Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You've seen it happen before if you've been watching our live videos. Sometimes my Windows desktop will lock up and I'll have to reboot because I can't get around it. Uh, it, it happens. It happens in Windows 98. It happens in Windows XP. It happens in Windows Vista. Heck, it even happens in OS X. And it even happens in Linux. Sometimes the computer just locks up. And uh, we had a question from a YouTube subscriber, uh, the BG007. That's his or her handle. Says I don't know if anyone else is having this problem, but every once in a while, I'm working on the computer, the taskbar and desktop stops responding to my mouse clicks. What is going on? Well, uh, in the case of Windows, it's usually uh, something that's tied into uh, a program uh, that is causing. Um, the taskbar to freeze because it's accessing the same process the taskbar is using. And this is usually a, a shell extension that might be tied into the, the operating system. Um, sometimes you'll install a program that is a sub-process of something else, in which case it's directly tied to it in some way. Um, most shell extensions, if not I should say all shell extensions, by their very nature are tied into the Windows Explorer. And if a shell extension stops responding, the whole entire Windows Explorer stops responding. And of course, the task bar is tied into the Windows Explorer uh, directly as well. And that's why when Explorer crashes, sometimes your taskbar disappears. Or when Explorer locks up, that's why your taskbar locks up. They're completely tied in together. Now, some would say this is by design. And of course, it is. But it's also one of the flaws, at least inside of uh, Microsoft Windows. Now, you'll have the same issue on any operating system. But as far as how the operating system handles it, it's going to be different. There are also times uh, that, uh, and this has been the case uh, with my old ThinkPad, if I try to do too much at one time, I can overheat the processor and lock up the entire system. And the only thing that will save that is a reboot. The processor has to cool down. Uh, the same issue was had on uh, some earlier MacBook Pros. The processor would get so hot, uh, it would expand. Uh, heat expands uh, stuff. Uh, cold contracts stuff. That's a non-scientific scientific explanation. Uh, and the processor would expand and cause a short circuit, causing the MacBook to kind of suspend. And then, of course, when the processor cooled down, then the MacBook could be used again. Um, but my guess is, is that the reason why your uh, Windows is freezing, using Windows as a word or term for the operating system, um, it's likely caused by uh, a program that you've got running in the background, whether you realize you've got it running or not. Um, this is an issue, I think, even with expert users uh, and, and advanced users, power users, but more for novices. Uh, novices tend to uh, keep the operating system running with all the programs that came shipped with it, all the crap uh, that causes more instability for Windows than it actually helps. And, and allegedly, all these programs that you can download and run in the background are supposed to help your computer, but they end up hurting you in many, many ways. Now, this isn't to say you should turn off every program that's running on your computer, but you should certainly be very, very selective in terms of what you decide to run and what you don't. Uh, now, chances are, if you've got 15 little icons running in your system tray, uh, you've probably got too many programs running. Now, I'm saying this in general. If you know exactly what you're doing, you know exactly what you're doing. But I'm pitching this out there specifically to novice users uh, who may be running things that they don't necessarily need to be running all the time. The more stuff you have running, the more chances you're going to have of running into a problem. And this is going to be the case for any computer, any device. Uh, one program may work well on its own, but when it starts interacting with another program, uh-oh, you may have some instability issues. So if you can, and if you, you have the ability to do so, shut down the programs you don't necessarily need to be running. Usually you can right click and exit if it's an uh, a icon that happens to be in your system tray. Um, you know, you can go through the process manager if you're an advanced user and you know exactly what you're looking for. Uh, I, I recommend that as well. Uh, the issue is, oh, you have exactly 15, Shuey? I didn't, I'm, I'm, apparently my VNC program works better than I thought. I can see into everybody's uh, program. Um, so, Running less programs at one time, even with a faster system with you know tons of RAM, uh, you're still going to be limited by the operating system in terms of how it handles all those programs and the interactivity between all those programs. You've really got to be careful. Um, that's that's I think what causes a lot more problems rather than the operating system itself. It's the programs that run on top of the operating system. So through a process of elimination, you might be able to go through and eliminate the programs that are causing the most amount of problems. Sometimes checking the system log in your computer management console might help. 
uh, or even searching the web for information on any one of these programs if you need to be running it at all. And in many cases, you, you don't. Uh, you'd be surprised. A lot of programs, when you install them, will have things in automatically inserted on Windows Startup. I always go through that using the MS config tool that comes with Windows uh, and get rid of all the things that I don't necessarily need. And, uh, you know, th there's different utilities for different operating systems, but this particular question, I believe, was tied directly into uh, the Windows machine. So anyway, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It's just it's a troubleshooting process. Just know that you don't likely have to run all those programs in your system tray at one time. And my guess is, is that as you start to eliminate more and more of those programs that you don't necessarily need, Windows is going to suddenly magically become all that much more stable. Now, that hasn't been the case with Windows Vista, but that's a completely different video. Anyway, if you have any tips, tricks, software that we might avoid in the future, uh, or what you do to keep your system as optimized as possible in terms of keeping programs from conflicting with one another, by all means, leave a comment, suggestion, or come by the chat room. Let us know what you think. If you have a question, we're here 24 hours a day, and boy, they just love throwing that. They, I've got them down. That's right. That's all you have to come to is live.perillo.com.